Welcome back guys, Monster Hunter Wilds received its first major update a few days ago. It includes tons of fixes and even performance improvements. The update log is quite big in size. I'll give the link to it in the description of the video. This is the performance improvement section. Improvements were made to VRAM usage and the direct storage version has been upgraded. Due to this change in direct storage, the game is not booting on Steam Deck anymore. Tech runs on Linux based SteamOS. In order to fix this issue, we just need to use a different version of direct storage. This fix was provided by Reddit user LittleBiba6969 on Linux Gaming subreddit page. I'll show you the process on my Steam Deck. First, I'll cover the game on my ROG Ally running on Windows 11. I'll also show you how to install RE Framework and Nitex Free OptiScaler mod. RE Framework disables Capcom's DRM in this game, which helps in improving frame pacing. This game comes with FSR 3.1 but the upscaler is not decoupled from frame generation so I'll just use OptiScaler mod to enable XCSS version 2 upscaler and will combine it with FSR 3.1 frame generation game's own FSR frame generation implementation First I'll run the game without any mod show you the base game performance Adrenaline settings for the game FreeSync enable, VSync enable I've enabled anti-lag setting as well my life is running on BIOS version 341. I have installed AMD's GPU driver, internal in addition, version 25.2.1. Set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB using a 30 watts manual profile. All three power values are at 30 watts. 720p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my 8 bit to Ultimate 2C controller to ally wire 2.4 GHz wireless mode. In game settings, 720p resolution display mode borderless window. VSync off. Using the low graphics preset, upscale is set to FSR 3.1, frame generation disabled for the time being, upscaling mode set to balance, sharpness level set to 0.5, ray tracing off of course. Other settings, the setting come with the low preset, variable rate shading disabled, motion blur, vignette effect disabled as well, depth of field off. Using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. We are in, there is a character, this is the lobby area. I'm just run around here. FPS is close to 30. 27 to 30 FPS. In the previous version here, I was getting an FPS within a range of 24 to 30. VRAM usage is around 5.6 GB. Not hitting the GB bottlenecks, so the game's performance seems to be limited by the single core CPU performance. Leave the game. Traverse the open world. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. FPS is going to tank. Staying close to 30, not bad. Uniam usage is increasing. Yeah, here FPS dropped to around 23. So 30 FPS is still not possible on Ally. Our target 22 FPS. Uranium usage is close to 5.8 GB. Audio is not stuttering. Okay, I'll enable frame generation. Setting enabled. The FPS increased to around 47. Base FPS here was in a range of 22 to 25. So FPS should be close to 50 for the most part. Can observe the high amount of smoothness, but I can also observe the increase in latency. Go on foot from here. Engaging combat. Frame pacing graph. Almost a flat line. Frame generation helps in improving a frame pacing. Sneak attack. So, not the ideal experience on ROG Ally, but the game is definitely playable. Now, I'll show you how to install RE Framework and OptiScaler mod. I'll be using the latest nightly build of OptiScaler. You can download it for free from OptiScaler's GitHub. We'll give its link in the description. Just expand the asset section. Click on the dot 7G link. I'll be using build version 0.7.7, preview 7, 2025, I'll be using the latest nightly build of RE Framework. Again, you can download it for free from GitHub. We'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section expanded. From here, just click on 
mhwiles.zip first I'll install re framework open mhwiles.zip file copy this dll file the input 8 need to paste it in the games install directory select the game in your steam library right click manage click on browse local files paste the file here re framework has been installed now I'll install optiskiller mod open optiskiller mod's archive file copy the highlighted files four of them need to paste them in the games install directory right here replace the mod comes with xcss version 2 just change the name of autoscaler.dll to dxgi.dll open optiscaler.ini I'll completely disable optiscaler fsr frame generation just set fg type to no fg dx12 upscaler to xcss optifg just need to set enable to false it's set to auto by defaults scroll down until you find the spoofing section there it is from here you just need to set dxgi to false This way OptiScaler mod won't cause any performance regression. Click on file, save, close the file, launch the game. Upon game launch, RE framework will get initialized. There it is. Game won't crash. The toggle key for both OptiScaler and RE framework is insert. I'll change the toggle key for RE framework. Just expand the configuration section. Click on menu key. Just map end key to it. There you go. Open Optiscaler mod menu by pressing the insert key. I haven't changed the game settings. There's Optiscaler menu. I'll increase its size. Click on the drop down bar next to US scales. Select 1.1. From this drop down bar, make sure XCSS is selected. Version is shown here 2.0.1. No frame generation selected. And just enable auto exposure setting from here. Click on save INI. Close. Same in game settings frame generation disable for the time being other settings VRS disable load it the same sequence I am in the lobby area I will just run around 28 to 30 fps image quality is looking noticeably sharper now compared to the game running with FSR 3.1 Ok, I'll just leave the key Calling my secret, there it is Mirai message here is close to 5.3 GB In the open world it should increase to around 5.8 GB Auto movement is on My secret got the most Expect the FPS to tank Yet drop to around 23 There is the creature Hitting the GPU bottleneck I will enable FSR frame generation now Frame generation enabled Back to the game FPS is within a range of 40 to 50 Before using RE framework, VRAM usage was around 5.8 GB. Now VRAM usage is around 5.5 GB. Look at that frame pacing graph, flat line. So this is how you get RE framework and OptiScaler mods working in Monster Hunter Wilds. Now I'll test the game on Steam Deck. This is SteamOS running in desktop mode. First I'll show you how to get the game working on Steam Deck. You need to download Microsoft Direct 3D Storage version 1.2.2. I'll give the link to this website in the description of the video. Just need to click on download package here. Now open Dolphin File Explorer. Click on downloads. Here you will find direct storage archive file that you just downloaded. Open it. Double click. Expand native folder. Expand bin folder. 
expand x64 folder you just need to extract these two dll files select them drag and drop them outside of this archive window like this close the archive window select both of these dll files right click cut need to paste them in the games install directory select the game in your steam library right click manage click on browse local files this is the games install directory in this directory these files will already be present we need to overwrite them right click paste two items check apply to all now click on overwrite after copying the dll files make sure to delete the shader cache corresponding to the previous version of the game you will find this file in the games install directory there is the file shader.cache delete you are ready to run the game first i'll test it without any mods switch to steamos game mode the performance is still very poor on steam deck i'll be testing it on the lcd variant of deck using g proton version 9-27 as the compatibility layer game started performance qm settings old level set to 3 I have uncapped the FPS by disabling SteamOS basing. Enable disable frame limit and allow tearing settings. That's it. 800p resolution VSync disabled. Using the lowest preset. Upscale set to FSR. Using its ultra performance preset. Frame generation disabled for the time being. Lowest possible settings VRS disabled. Post processing effects like motion blur. Vignette effect disabled as well. Yeah, there is a character. This is the lobby area, and here FPS is within a range of 16 to 20. Very poor performance. The game is looking very pixelated as expected using the ultra performance preset of FSR scaler. After all, <laughs> look at the textures. I can count the individual pixels. Where is my secret going? Just want to traverse the open world. Yeah. 17 to 20 FPS. 15 FPS. I have no idea how people are playing this game on Steam Deck. You won't believe this. It's one of the most played games on Deck. How is it possible? There's the feature. I'll just enable frame generation hitting the GP button like here. Why is this game so heavy on the GPU? I have no idea. Look at the textures. I have seen PlayStation 3 games look better than this. Frame generation on. It's not going to help much. Yeah, FPS increased to around 27. Deck is still struggling to maintain a steady 30 FPS. Half of the frames are fake. I can also the right amount of smoothness. Look at the input delay. Oh my god, it's massive. Combat started. Massive FPS drop. Slide show experience. Okay, now I'll show you how to install RE framework and OptiScaler mod. We'll be using the latest nightly build of OptiScaler. Just expand the asset section, click on the dot .7z link. I'll give the link to this website in the description of the video. This is the build that I'll be using. I'll be using the latest nightly build of RE framework. Again, it can be downloaded from GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Just expand the asset section. From here, click on mhfiles.zip. Open Dolphin File Explorer, go to Downloads. Here you'll find both of the files that you just downloaded. First, I'll install RE framework. Open mhfiles.zip file. Double click. Just extract this DLL file, de input it, drag and drop it outside of this archive window. Close. Select it, right click, cut. Need to paste it in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. This is the games install directory. Paste the DLL file here. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Go to downloads. Here look for OptiScaler's archive file. There it is. Double click. Just need to extract the following files, four of them. Drag and drop them outside of this archive window. Wait for the extraction process to complete. Now select the extracted files. I'll highlight them. 
right click cut open the games install directory paste them here check this option apply to all click on override now just change the name of optiskeleton.tll to txti.tll just open optiskeleton.ini file for some reason optiskeles menu does not pop up on steam os so i'll be changing the settings from the ini file just set ts12 upscaler to xcss set fg type to no fg completely disable the mods frame generation opti fg section from here you need to set enable to false scroll down until you find the spoofing section there it is and just set dhci to false scroll down again until you find init flag section from here just set auto exposure to true click on save here we are done close the file need to add a launch option to the game select the game in your steam library click on the settings cog click on properties now just click on general under launch options add this line of text i'll provide it in the description of the video i don't recommend using these mods on steam deck it won't help much in improving the performance but you can follow this guide on other linux pcs with more powerful amd gpus like raw gala running on bazaar Switch to Steam OS Gaming Mode. Launch the game. Upon game launch, RE Framework will get initialized. The toggle key for RE Framework and OptiScaler is the same. That is Insert key. So I'll change the toggle key for RE Framework. Just expand the configuration section. Click on Menu key here. I'll just press End key. That work. Close the menu. If you don't have a keyboard, just map insert and end keyboard keys to any of Steam Deck's backlit buttons. Haven't changed any in-game setting. 800p resolution VSync off. In-game upscaler set to FSR. OptiScaler mod will load XCSS. Frame generation disable for the time being using the mods. Beg your pardon, using the upscaler's ultra performance preset. Other settings. Variable rate shading disable. Motion blur off. There's a character. I'm in the lobby. The FPS is within a range of 17 to 20. Not a big improvement in image quality as expected. We're using the ultra performance preset of the upscaler after all. I'll just leave the place. Hitting the GPU button like here. Traverse the open world. FPS will drop down to around 15 here. There's the monster. Big open world ahead of us. So much dust. Yeah, 13 FPS. I'll just enable frame generation now. There, that's our target. In game settings, frame generation set to FSR enabled. Back to the game. FPS increased to around 24. So no significant improvement in performance on Steam Deck. I would not recommend playing the game on this device. In the end, the decision is completely up to you. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.